the Brigecko Hubs is one here. Um, this is the update part two because we didn't have enough time for the second. Well, we I'm not sure if we had, but I don't want to try it. Um, what's it called? I forgot to show you guys um, Poncho because yeah, it's you guys haven't seen him in a while. Just bring him out over here, dude. Oh, um, what's it called? He's pretty big out of. He would have been the biggest lizard we have right now, but my brother had to go and get his lizard. <laughs> um, what's it called? He's still pretty tame. A fat tail on him. I think he's going to be one of our breeders once we get um, the girls up to size, I guess. <coughs> um, and yeah, this is Pancho, I guess. <laughs> um, me and my friend made um, a Facebook page, so you guys should probably go check that out. Um, it's Reptile Nation. You guys should go like us. Um, <coughs> what's it called? Well, we just made it today, so, yeah. But it's, we should be getting some good stuff for it. Um, we're gonna go show you our, <coughs> our rack type, type system, I guess. Um, the first rack, I guess, um, we have mealworms. Well, this is our bearded dragon food. It's the red pellets. Um... And then we got millworms. We got two packs of 100 millworms. Um, there's no millworms at the top right now, but yeah. And then we got waxworms because we got a fat in on my beta dragon up and the leopard geckos. And then we got calcium. Fluker's calcium. This calcium is actually pretty good. It's been keeping our lizards alive, I guess. <laughs> um, this is our millworm rack. <coughs> We don't have any millworms in here right now, but we're, once we get a shipment, we should have some in here. Um, this is our supplies drawer. We have some bedding. Um, <coughs> we have some reptile, reptile bark bedding in here. We have some paper towel rolls for the bearded dragon's bedding. This is, um, this is the oats for millworms. Um... This is for to dust the crickets off. That flashlight's just light for the lizard at the bottom, which my brother's gonna be talking to you guys about. <coughs> and this is the moss for um, the leopard gecko hides for them to shed in. Uh, I'm gonna let my brother finish off the rack because it's the rest of the rack is his, I guess. All right. Um, <coughs> my jumbo leopard gecko. I'm not sure if he's a jumbo, but they say he is. But here he is. It's pretty big. Got a pretty long tail. We'll compare him after the video to Poncho because he's our biggest right now. Besides him. This guy's nine inches. And then this is his whole um, enclosure. We got water and food for him. Everything's good, and the heat mats at the side, so so he could get warm and everything. This is our other one. <clears throat> he kind of messed it up a little, but um, We're we got four minutes. Uh, we got them both here. This is caboose. It's a black. I don't know, labor gecko. I guess charcoal or something. And Bring them out more. Yeah, so they can see. This is um, Chris. He is a parentless albino. He's pretty good. He, I guess he's growing a little. So, that's all good. And this is it for part two. Um, what's it called? <coughs> um, this guy's name is. Um, I can Ty. compare him now. Oh, this guy's name is Ty. Here, get him out. Let's compare him to Poncho. Pretty big. Oh, don't move. All right, look at him. Bigger oh my head. God, Noah's is way bigger, dude. Look at the head. Their head and then their body. Pancho's tail is a little bigger than his, but. Let's see. <coughs> What's it called? So yeah, that's the comparison. One ended now. Um. Yeah. So. 
rate, like, subscribe. Um, also, you guys should go like our page again, Reptile Nation. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Later.